video, I'd like to explain the uh, concept and configuration of working with the traffic managers. What we're going to do is just kind of evaluate the configuration and the way all of this works for utilizing an Azure Traffic Manager. Now, the main thing to understand about this is that Azure Traffic Manager is um, solely reliant on DNS. So DNS is going to play a major role in making all of this work. All right. Um, so the first thing you'll notice here is that um, we have a DNS service. Now this DNS service could be hosted in Azure, it could be hosted by GoDaddy, it could be hosted by whatever registrar you want. Um, you, will have, you will need to set up your web service. Now these could be VMs, um, like I've got listed there, or it could be some kind of a web app that's hosted in Azure. You have what's called the app service, which uses containers usually for hosting the web application. It really doesn't matter, okay? Um, and you would need to know what uh, uh, the public information, either the public DNS information or IP address information of each one of these services. Then what you would do is with your DNS service, you would register CNAME information that's going to uh, reflect whatever the uh, addressing system is for each one of these. All right, so all that would need to be done. The other thing that I'm not putting in the diagram here, but I did want to point out, is that each one of these could have load balancers. So I'm only showing that we've got one um, instance of this, one VM or one web app, but technically you could have, uh, you know, I could have multiple VMs uh, and it could all be, I could have a load balancer right here that the traffic manager redirects to. So keep that in mind that even though I'm not drawing a load balancers into the mix, you could put load balancers if you have much, a much larger environment. So there could be more than one instance of each one of these uh, web services right here. All right. So ultimately what happens is your client is going to connect to uh, the DNS service, right? And the DNS service does what's called a recursive look at the um, uh, information based on what the client, where the client is connecting from. So for example, if the client is connecting from a, a location that's nearest East US, it looks at the IP address information and it passes that information on to the traffic manager. Okay. So that the traffic manager takes that information into account, communicating where the uh, the closest endpoint is going to be for that client, and it replies back to the DNS service based on that. And then from there, telling the DNS service uh, which location is going to be the closest for that client. So again, the, the traffic manager uh, looking at the IP address knows the different endpoints that are available and it mentions which one is going to be the closest for that client based on that. So it sends back that information to the DNS service. The DNS service then replies back with whichever of these. So for example, if it was East US, it's replying back with this information right here. That's going to go back to the client right and then the client is going to connect directly to that location okay um, so it's not a lot of people think that the client is passing through the traffic manager to connect to that location but that's not actually the case the client is going to connect to that location now again this is going to work the same way it doesn't matter if this client is going to be closest to, to west us central us europe wherever the client is going to be um, but this client will always connect directly to the one that's closest to it. So that is the idea. That's the concept behind how the traffic manager is going to be configured. Again, the main thing the traffic manager does is it works in conjunction with this DNS service to know which of these pieces of, of records, which of these records need to be passed based on what your endpoints are, uh, whether you've got one in West U.S., Central U.S., East U.S., Europe, wherever it may be. And I only drew four locations here. Obviously in a much bigger environment you could have these different endpoints all over the world. But traffic manager's job is to communicate with DNS to uh, reflect which endpoint is going to be closest to the client. I hope you're enjoying the content so far. I wanted you to know that I'm trying really hard to build this channel and it would help me out so much if you would take the time to like and subscribe to the channel. Alright, and with that said, let's get back to the video.